Daniel Bryan, I'm sure you've been reading all the stuff that's been happening uh, with him. And that doesn't look good. Does not look good. Now, let's rewind it back a little bit. Get you guys caught up a little bit. All right. For those of you that might not be aware of what's up with him. Daniel Bryan was pulled from WWE's European tour last week. And this just had rumors flying around all over the place regarding his health as many felt that maybe he got hurt during the event. Now, it should be noted that before WrestleMania, Daniel Bryan had a really great conversation with Chris Jericho for his Talk is Jericho podcast. And he talked about his neck and elbow injury from last year and how it's affected him. And he said in direct quote right here, we didn't know how my neck was going to do when I came back. It's the same with any injury, I think. If you have knee surgery, you don't know how your knee is going to do until you actually start putting pressure on it and you can do as much rehab or whatever you want. And now it's this thing of it being like getting pretty worn down. And I've never felt this way before. Now, if you guys recall, there was even an episode of Total Divas where John Cena was very candid about Daniel Bryan's injury and talking about how he should get uh, 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 surgery done and everything. And Daniel Bryan feels that, uh, you know, maybe it's his age that's catching up with him. As he said, I'm getting older, so I don't know if it's just that. But sometimes when you've been off for nine or ten months, then coming back takes maybe some getting used to. And I don't know if I'm still in that adjustment process all right so kind of have that in the back of your mind as uh, we then heard after Tuesday's taped Smackdown in London WWE would end up issuing a statement to our good friends over at wrestlinginc.com saying that Brian was pulled from the tour as a precautionary measure Dave Meltzer of F4W Online reported that there were some people on the tour that said Brian suffered a concussion during his match with Sheamus on SmackDown a couple of weeks ago. Ever since that match, Brian has only been working tag matches, even though he was booked for singles matches against Bad News Barrett on the tour. Meltzer would follow that up saying that even though he was told Brian suffered a concussion, WWE is saying that is not the case as WWE is not saying what the issue is other than Daniel Bryan is banged up. Now you got PW Insider coming to the forefront and they're saying that Daniel Bryan is indeed injured based on a source that they have in the WWE. As this source told them, take all this that you're hearing with a grain of salt now. But they're saying by their reports, their accounts, Bryan reportedly suffered an injury on the April 9th WWE live event in Dublin, Ireland, as he teamed with Dolph Ziggler and Eric Rowan to defeat Sheamus, Bray Wyatt, and Bad News Barrett. It's not known right now what exactly was the injury point in that match that ultimately sent Daniel Bryan home. So, I mean, you hear all this that's going on, and then you're also hearing about what's going on with Daniel Bryan's status for the Extreme Rules pay-per-view, uh, as they're basically saying right now, at least the way it stands right now, um, you know, there's possibly still a chance that Daniel Bryan may be having his Intercontinental Championship match against Barrett at the pay-per-view, uh, but... Last WWE officials had said basically Daniel Bryan is getting uh, uh, diagnosis done. He's getting some more testing done. And, you know, pretty much from that point going forward, they'll be able to figure out whether or not he's going to be able to do this pay-per-view or not. So, I mean, you hear all that. And honestly, Daniel Bryan, look, we all know that he opted to do some weird voodoo type of 
Bula Shaka, Bula Shaka, Bula Shaka, magic, magical spell, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, he opted to do that instead of actually getting the real deal done, getting surgery done. And honestly, if I'm the WWE right now, I'm looking at Daniel Bryan and I think the best thing that they can do for Daniel Bryan right now, they need to push greed and potential money they can make off of him on the t-shirts and other merchandise, the ticket sales and all that. They need to just push all that to the side and they just need to say to themselves, we need to do a better job in protecting this guy. No matter what he tries to tell us, we need to just keep him off the road. Let him do what he needs to do. He does not need to come back until we are 100% confident in his ability to the point we don't have to worry about some weird freak accident happening with him being in the ring because then it becomes a serious liability. You know what I'm saying, boys and girls? It can easily kind of come back and affect the WWE in a bad way. And honestly, look, give WWE credit. They gave Daniel Bryan the benefit of doubt. They're like, okay, he's doing this whole herb Spiritual thing, spiritual therapy for his injuries, okay, a little taboo, a little controversial, but he's saying he feels good, okay, well, you know, let's test him out a little bit, and honestly, to hear all this that's going on right now, the fact that WWE is trying to address this, but they're really not trying to disclose just how bad it could possibly be, or how possibly bad it is for Daniel Bryan. They're not really disclosing it right now. Uh, honestly, if your pay-per-view main event match of several is in jeopardy, then I think you need to do the right thing. Fans may not like it. It may not be a popular move, but I tell you what, you ask practically every single Daniel Bryan fan that's out there, that's aware of everything that he's going through, I bet you every single one of them, they would be like, you know what, my main concern, I just want the guy to be healthy, I want him to come back at 100%, where he's definitely not having any problems, and I mean, he's no spring chicken, is that the term as far as newbies and all that go, I mean, he's been around the wrestling block for many, many years now, and you know, it, it's just that time, you know, he, he's been around for so long, and I mean, that's the thing with these WWE superstars, with these divas, you know, even though it's not as rigorous, the touring that is, as it used to be back in the early 90s, the 80s, the 70s, even though it's not as rigorous as it was back then, because that was pretty much like 365 days a year, you know, you don't really have any off time, you don't really have that downtime to spend with your family, recuperate, you know, rehab, there is no off season, and WWE has let this be known, that's what makes them so popular, and they're always taking their little jabs at all the other sports that's out there, uh, as WWE, you know, we don't believe in off season, we're all year round, and, you know, unfortunately, when you have a situation like you're in the position of a Daniel Bryan and you're always on tour. You're doing the house shows, uh, you're doing uh, whatever live events, be it in state or out of state, out the country. You know, these are the risks that you take without getting proper uh, rest. And it's unfortunate at the same time. You know, I don't like saying this, but WWE, they need to really man up and they need to say, Daniel Bryan, look, we're sorry. We messed up with you when we brought you back in pretty early, when we brought you in to try to do the whole Royal Rumble thing. Look, I think we could all be in agreement. Daniel Bryan at that period of time, wrong place, wrong time. Soon as Daniel Bryan came back, so many people were already starting to fall in love with the idea. Hey, it's the guy that uh, had the championship belt taken away from him. He didn't lose it. 
yeah, let's root him on. Let's see him go to WrestleMania again and all that. And wrong place, wrong time. I said it months back. He should have never came back at that point. They should not have had Daniel Bryan come back. Honestly, if I could have had it my way, I would have not had him come back until after WrestleMania. I think that would have been the proper way to do it. At least by that point, you would have given him even more of an opportunity to get proper rest, proper rehab, all that good stuff. You feel what I'm saying, folks? And for me, I just think that if WWE doesn't step their game up and they really do what they can to protect Daniel Bryan, because the vibe that I'm getting from Daniel Bryan is that this man is a lifer. If you do him right, you treat him good, he's going to be a WWE lifer. He's a good investment. He is somebody that you can invest in for years to come, and they need to protect that investment in a Daniel Bryan. I mean, have we not learned anything from CM Punk? Seriously, have we not learned? Even more the reason why WWE needs to step up and they need to say, we love you, but you need to get proper rehab. You strongly need to consider surgery. Even if you do not elect to get surgery, you're just going to continue to do rehab until further notice, until we are truly convinced that there's no problems, you're ready to go. Because see, this is this is a Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff waiting in the wings. We all know what eventually had happened with Orndorff. Those of you that don't know, look up your wrestling history. If WWE doesn't nip this in the bud ASAP, that's what I feel is going to happen. 